Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Shelly from Crafty Cottage Dreams. How are you doing today? I am popping on today to share my design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. That is Doreen. Um, yeah, using her Empress um, Ballroom Digital Kit. And yeah, I've, <laughs> I've added... I just couldn't stop like I every day I'm like oh I should really do this so today I created these little booklets to go along with these journals I have two journals here and some cute little adorable booklets to go along with these tall journals and I'm gonna get my handy dandy ruler here so I can measure these for you but yeah it's so much fun using this digital and creating for her so I say let's get this started only because of the fact that the longer my videos the longer it takes to upload and I just want to get this party started how about that ladies all right these cute little booklets look at how adorable the, these are they are very neutral with a pop of color so cute and a duration of these little booklets are are from I've created them from using Doreen's kit that I got some time ago um, vintage rose ganache kit I believe it's called correct me if I'm wrong Doreen but it's something similar along that line so, but I've used um, the papers and the laces that were within that cat, except for a few things like this beautiful, beautiful, um, they're just hearts. They're two hearts, and I loved it because it incorporated the gold within this heart and the pink and the pearls, of course, which fits perfectly in with the gold that I use used within these journals so they're just super adorable and I love them and you know book pages and coffee stained papers that she had within that ganache kit rose ganache kit and I'm sure most of you ladies know what I'm talking about because a lot of you ladies get her kits so yeah so how about <laughs> I'm a hot mess. All right, I'm going to set this aside and we'll go through the little booklet. I just have this tie here. I forget what kind of... Um, it's a fuzzy tie. <laughs> but I love it. I love the neutral of it and I love that it's fuzzy. So I used that as the tie. And here is the cute little booklet. Like I said, everything is from that um, Vintage Rose Ganache kit, except for these hearts. And I think they're adorable. Super cute. And I just loved how I incorporated Doreen's lace here on just that little torn cover I created. So you can see those beautiful papers peek out. And we have a vocabulary French page, some coffee dyed paper, and some vintage crochet lace up here with of course some pink bling parchment paper okay this part was not in the kit but I added it it's dated back from 1643 to 1685 but what it says in here it's a certificate of marriage of some sort and we have some musical paper little scrunched up lace here and of course some bling and then oops let's tuck that back in 
And then we have some tissue paper. It's like a parchment paper, tissue paper, but I loved that it had that. It's in French and it's like a, a sage green. I love it. Here's your center. And we have this little postcard that was included in the Rose Ganache kit. And I just used my gold. I used a lot of, um, on the edges of my paper and everything, I used this metallic gold. I love it because it gives it that nice aged metallic -y effect. And so it's just a little postcard. And I just did a little collage in here. Snippets of lace. And some Chanel. And this is the back. And that just tucks right in here. And then here, I just have a little snippet of various papers, parchment paper, um, coffee dyed paper, just little snippets, cotton rag paper, French book pages that you can play with, ledger paper. And it's just stapled all together. Thought that was super cute. And that's it for the booklet. It's just a simple, cute little booklet. And it does measure. I love it. I love how they this came out. They're super cute. Five and a half inches by three and a half inches. Super cute. Okay, so let's get into the journal, and this will go with this journal. And I'll tie this back together after. Let's get through the journal. Here is super, I love this journal. Look at it. It's filled with yumminess. I love how it, my fern is getting in the way. <laughs> I just love the cover. I love how it came out. I love the gold metallic effect. I loved all the embossing that I did. The doily, the laces. Just a collage of beautifulness. I love it. And I also did use, um, besides the Empress Ballroom digital kit, of course, which is my design team project, I also did use Lorna, Ta Lorna Taylor's um, musical digitals within this journal because I love how they went with the whole ballroom thing. And I also used Christina's stamps over at Subline Stamps. And I also used Sheila's um, beautiful over at um, Boho Daydreams. I used some of her trims. And of course, um, Crafty Me Shop um, over on Facebook. And of course, I used some of Doreen's um, snippets. Sorry, ladies, took a sip of my coffee. But let's untie this. And this... is with the same tie as the small... the small booklet. It's like an... and... gore... I forget. Um, anyway. I love that. So, it is also... Find it also with this, this too. I love it. Love this stuff. It's some Angora fiber. It's a fiber, but I love it in this journal. So 
That's what I used for the booklets, for the um, tie, and along with this tall journal. This tall journal measures, it's quite tall, almost 11 inches by, oh, it's a lot, four and a half inches. So it's a pretty big stuffed journal. Again, all that collaging I did using the original cover is using Doreen's Digitals. And then I have, and then I used some, you know that paper you receive in packages when you get in the mail? You know, this wonderful stuff. I just did a bunch of collaging for the cover and I did emboss that and which you can see which peeks out on the top here and then I use Lorna's beautiful music um, digital in which you'll see here and here and then door from Doreen's kit the Empress Ballroom isn't that that's just beautiful it's so pretty and then I did a little embossing here, and then I used that metallic gold. I also used, and this stuff is the bomb. So between using the metallic gold for distressing, I also used this one. It's Enhan Enchanted Gold Gilding Polish, which is really beautiful but I used it along in these journals as well. So I love it. And this is a little snippet here, which you can see, which was in Doreen's, one of Doreen's kits. I believe it was the Roses Ganache um, kit. And I added a little brooch here. It is a crown so sparkly and I added some rhinestone here it is in pink and then I added a little lace bow here with a little bit of bling here and then I have a vintage tag little round tag here and I just added this rosette on a ball pin and I just love how it came out I love that gilded I used it all throughout the journal but it's so pretty so how about we pop in so the journal cover is very sturdy and then on here I added a little and this is using Lorna Taylor's again I'm I won't be repetitive. <laughs> Just know that these are her music digitals. And I used a doily here with this beautiful applique and hints of blue and pink. And I love it. And you can see I added this lace in between all those papers. So I love it. And then here we have some parchment paper. I did use Christina's stamps. And then I used, um, I embossed it. And where is it? And then I used this Princess Gold embossing powder. And then I used my heating tool. And that's what we got. I love it. So it's Hotel Victoria. I love how it came out. And then we have this beautiful peak. This fern. It's out of control. This beautiful sheer fabric here is a page. And it is in gold. It's so pretty. And then here is Doreen's beautiful digital. And then I added a vintage ticket to the ballroom. <laughs> so 
So I just thought it was so cute. Great addition. And of course, I always add vintage laces and trims on the end of my paper clips. And then I have a cute little just card here. That beautiful lace. And I love this stuff. I forgot what that what these are called, but it's gorgeous. So this particular journal has, is in neutrals, pinks, baby blues, and gold. So I love it. You could certainly journal in the back using some old ledger paper, vintage ledger paper. And then here we have on this side, this is Doreen's beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? So gorgeous. I love how everything just peekaboos. Okay, Fern, you gotta go. <laughs> as pretty as you are, you're kind of getting in my way. There we go, guys. I hope you can see everything. And I love how everything just peeks, peeks out. It's Sheila's boho trim in gold and pearls. I love that. I did a little stamping with sample stamps. I used some washi tape um, on this side here just to enforce that. Sample stamp here on the bottom as well. Paris of 1893. Sam, I love your stamps. Can't get enough of them. And then I just have a little cluster here. I love this cluster. Just attached to that page. With Sheila's trim there. Doreen's beautiful digital. This flips open. Sheila's boho trim. Isn't that the most gorgeous boho trim? And then on the inside here, I just added a bunch of little, you know, scraps. Here I did a roughly embossed that with gold. It's kind of rough looking. I liked that look. And then we have an old vintage. I'm not really entirely uh, invoice of some sort. And then we have some French dictionary pages. Actually, this is in English, French, French. Just something to play with. I like adding um, old stuff as well, vintage items. And then we just have a paper clip with some vintage lace here. And then here is this beautiful musical, new and enlarged edition, improved easy method parlor Oregon. And then I love this. This is from one of my books. It's, um, I ordered it through Instagram and it's, I just love the illustration on here and it's in French and it's, it's a very old book. I hesitated as to whether or not I wanted to tear the pages, but I did. So there you have it. And we have a beautiful applique here on the bottom. I love that illustration. The ballroom. I just thought it fit perfectly in this journal. We have some parchment paper. I love, love this image. It's beautiful, Doreen. And then I just added some blush pink Beautiful trim here on the bottom, along with some gold trim. And again, all my paper clips have vintage laces tied on the end. I love that look, because they just pop out. 
And then I have an ephemera card here that I created. I did use sample stamp up there, sample stamp down here, some old vintage piano paper along the side here, just a little collaging, some lace, some rosettes, sold by all music and book dealers. Teachers asked to see it. <laughs> Whitney's Easy Piano Folio, and then it's backed with some ledger. And then we have this beautiful fabric page here. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I did incorporate some vintage. I got it at an antique shop when I visited my sister in Corning. This is one of the pages. and which you can see here. A specially selected catalog of E.T. Paul's compositions and march arrangements. And I just did a, a little collage of Sheila's little beautiful trim. And so I'll move her trim up here. And on the inside of this, I just added I can get it out. This here, it's they are dated back from 1937. I guess it was from a little, I don't know. I just thought it was cool and added it in there. And then I added an old dictionary page that you can play around with. It's like made out of tissue paper. It's kind of cool. I loved it. So that just tucks right inside there. Parchment paper. And here's that beautiful illustration. I should grab that book and show you guys. They're in the ballroom. <laughs> it's very old. And then I just added some trim. This flips out. I added one of Doreen's beautiful digitals. And then here is from that. I'm going to go grab that book because I'd like you guys to see it. Hang on one second. Ladies, sorry, but isn't this book just gorgeous? I love it. And look, I th I've showed this in one of my videos from a while back, but isn't it just splendid? And it's all in French, so I don't understand it, but it's just a gorgeous book of yumminess and that's where I got these illustrations and and that cover is we'll make a journal cover one of these days and this is what comes out of that book it's so pretty I love it so I incorporated that I love the illustrations on the top and the illustrations are gorgeous that just reminded me of a ballroom so that's why I incorporated it in there and it is October the month of October and then here I just did a little embossing with Christina's stamp boutique vintage with that embossing powder I love it love how it came out and then on this side I just made a little floating pocket I just did a bunch of collaging some lace rosettes some of this beautiful trim with that pink um, bling there. And I just simply sample stamp there. You could certainly journal in the back of that if you desire. And I just have a French, I forget what these, these are called. But anyway, and then I did a little sample stamp there. 
and this is made out of Doreen's Beautiful Digital. And then I incorporated a little ticket, possibly maybe to the e ballroom event. And then we have a little, I'm not sure what this is, honestly, but it's old. Just added that. And that tucks right in there. And that sits right there. Just have some music paper. This is uh, Lorna Taylor's Digital. This is actually a vintage music sheet. Let's take that and this flips out, which you can see here. It's some beautiful boho trim. It's so gorgeous. And some vintage lace. And in here, I just added a blank sheet of copy dyed paper. Just tied it with some vintage lace. That tucks right in there. And then I added this. It is coffee dyed, planned for the week of your ballroom event. And that tucks right in there. And I just added a little cluster of fabric here. So pretty with that gold trim and pearls. Doreen's beautiful digital and my pages are not perfect. I ripped them and distressed them in the gold to give it that aged effect like this journal's been around for some time. And then I created some little envelopes which I did stitch along the sides to enclose it. And we have a little cluster. I love this. Love that. Can you guys see that? And on the inside, and these envelopes are made out of parchment paper and using the Music Digital. And here we have Doreen's beautiful image. It is backed with some old vintage ledger, sample stamp. We have a little applique there with some bling. And that sits right in there. I may do a two part. I may video. I may do this journal and then I may come back and do the second one. It depends on where are we at. We're at 27 minutes. Uh, I'll just get it done. That vintage music paper. We have some old ledger here and I just used some beautiful pink trim. And this, I love this. Isn't that gorgeous trim guys love it and that flips open and on the inside I love that ledger uh, again I just added some goodies to play with some old vintage ledger some vintage wallpaper in the blue blue hue we have some parchment paper and then we have another one of these invoices to play with and it kind of just tucks right in there beautiful here is the center isn't that gorgeous I love it I added a beautiful little lace cluster here with some gold trim Music paper, ledger, and then again on this side, we have an ephemera card. Isn't she beautiful? And we have a little cluster here of lace and rosette. We have some vintage piano paper, sample stamp, and it's backed with old ledger. So you can journal in the back. And then here's a nice little cluster here on the bottom of this beautiful pink fabric. Chila's boho trim in gold and pearls. Storing's beautiful digital. 
And again, here is another one from that book. I love the illustrations. Beautiful illustrations. And it just tucks there. Here is, this is vintage music sheets. She has boho trim, so pretty. And then here, I created these yesterday. Need some coffee. I created these yesterday. I love these. They are made out of the vintage flashcards. And we have a little lace up here. This is the back. And it's covered in this gorgeous lace. Here's the front. And I used various appliques in the very passed down blue color. It is so pretty. I just added some Sheila Boho trim here. This is Esme's. Just some beautiful trim on the bottom. A cluster here of some fabric netting with a beautiful rose. It is backed with uh, Lauren and Taylor's music paper back here. I added some bling. See some bling there? So pretty. Some sorry silk in this beautiful blue. I just love it. I love how it came out and it's so pretty. And these are small. Let's measure out. Let's see. Well, without, they're about nine inches in length, not including that. If I were to include that, they would be like 10 inches by three inches. So pretty. I had so much fun creating these. But anyway, that tucks nicely inside there. Here's Doreen's beautiful digital. And again, I did emboss stamp that with that gold. It's so pretty. Here's another page from that book. Nice illustration of this gentleman playing the drums and then I have some trim here some of that Sheila Boho trim parchment paper and here is that musical from that antique shop I added some lace some of Sheila's beautiful trim here in the corner love it I love the golden pinks and on the inside, I just have this ephemera card. I just added some blue trim there, backed it with some ledger paper. This is from one of Doreen's kits, too. I believe the Roses Ganache kit she had incorporated in there. And we have a vintage postcard that I added because I love the roses and the blue hue that was in that postcard. Here is the back side of that fabric page. We have another floating pocket here with the same stuff that's on the inside. these out using Doreen's beautiful they're made out of floating pockets made out of Doreen's beautiful digital just did some collaging little bit of lace here some rosettes I love this little vintage ticket to the ballroom and again this is the same thing as just a snippet of some antique page. I 
And then here's Dwayne's beautiful image. Love that trim. Parchment paper. The back side of that. Here's this beautiful illustration of this gentleman at the ball. Ballroom. <laughs> And then we have some old ledger paper here, some of that gold trim. And on the inside, take this paper clip out. This does flip out. And on the inside, I just have, this is antique. <laughs> so it is fragile, but I incorporated it in there. It's a music. Does that have a date? Uh, 1282? Jesus. I don't think so. But anyway, I added that. And then another one of these invoices. And that tucks right inside here. Here's Doreen's beautiful image here. I love it. Are these ladies gorgeous? Sample stamp. Sample stamp on there. I love this. Here's that fabric. Again, in the gold. It's so sheer. Again, and I did some embossing there with that gold. And here's the back side with that doily and that beautiful, I love this, applique, some rhinestones, pearl, and that beautiful blue hue. And there is journal number one, guys. Yummy. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. And... The little baby journal that goes with that or booklet booklet journal whatever you want to call it so cute anyway guys i think i'm gonna make a part two that way it doesn't take forever to download so this is journal number one and i'm just going to tie this back up I'll make a pretty bow out of it after. But I love these fibers. And I'll just wrap it and tie it back up later. make it into a pretty bow after but that is journal number one guys i hope you loved it and i'll be back shortly for journal number two so stay tuned see you soon bye